One of the best demonstrations of the multipath bonding software is how a number of unreliable links can be used to give you crystal clear uninterrupted Skype calls. To demonstrate this, I have set up a Skype call to myself. Even though a Skype call is a single connection, the data stream is actually being split across all available connections. So in this case, you can see that we have two fixed line connections and one 3G connection. The blue lines from the WAN connections to the quantum controller indicate the amount of data being sent on each link. So in this case, you can see that the fixed lines are being favored over the 3G connection, which makes sense as the 3G connection has a higher latency than the fixed lines. The first thing we are going to do is simulate a failure on both of our fixed lines at the same time. So I'm now going to disconnect both of these connections. You can see that their status turns to red with the not connected error message to indicate the problem. But because the links are bonded, there is no drop in our Skype call. Both video and audio carry on as if nothing happened. Traffic is now being sent exclusively on the 3G connection, but this is seamless to Skype or any other application. Now we are going to reconnect both of the fixed line connections and as soon as they have connectivity again, you can see that they become bonded. It takes just a second for these two to become connected. And the router now starts to direct some of our traffic for our Skype call over these links again. Now, to simulate a failure on the mobile network, I'm going to disable the 3G connection. To do that, I simply click on the UMTS icon, scroll down to activation and set the operating mode to disabled and click on apply. Now, on the dashboard, you can see that the 3G connection is disabled, forcing all traffic over the two fixed line connections. The really important point here is that our Skype call first used all three connections, then was forced to use only the 3G connection, and when the 3G connection died, moved back to the fixed line connections again. And this was completely transparent to Skype. And more importantly, us using the Skype call. The link stayed up and the call didn't miss a beat. Even with unreliable links, you get bulletproof Skype calls. And because this all happens in the multipath router, it works with any application on any device. Use the connectivity you pay for. Use the multipath router to get the speed and the reliability of all your links combined.